What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be covering Jasmine. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So to be completely honest with you, Jasmine has gotten absolutely hammered since my last video. Now I will say, a big reason for that is because Bitcoin has been getting absolutely hammered and it's been dragging Jasmine down with it. But anyways, Jasmine is currently trading at a price point of just under 2 cents. Their market cap is 870 million, which ranks 103rd among all cryptocurrencies. So Jasmine has officially fallen outside of the top 100 again. And their circulating supply is 49.2 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion, which is about 98.6% in circulation. And as usual, if you guys are looking to buy the dip on Jasmine, I recommend using Binance or Coinbase. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But now I do also want to take a look at the Jasmine news section and mainly this article that was posted four hours ago. And it's a Jasmine price prediction. So if we go ahead and scroll down in the article, we'll try and find the price prediction. Okay, so price prediction for 2024. Okay, so according to this price prediction, they think Jasmine is still going to be underneath two cents. Now I want to be crystal clear. If Bitcoin continues to fall, that is certainly a possibility. However, that would mean Jasmine never gets back above its local high that it reached a couple weeks ago. And then even for 2025, they could see an increase to still just under two cents. It's only in 2026 that we finally see Jasmine back above two cents. Now, I do also want to be clear on this. I am someone who always tries to stay as realistic as possible. However, if you look at the chart on coin market cap, it was only seven days ago that we were above two cents. Basically, their price predictions are betting that Bitcoin never climbs at all because if Bitcoin climbs, then Jasmine is going to soar past those levels. And it's not like I'm sitting here saying that Jasmine is going to 20x, 30x, 100x. All it needs to do is make like 20%, even less than that to reach the 2025 price prediction. So just in general, always be careful when you see articles like this. Sometimes they're going to be way over the top bullish. Other times they're not going to be bullish enough. Because to be honest with you, if Jasmine only made those gains, I'd be very disappointed. And I think a lot of you guys would be too. But anyways, I do also want to just show you Jasmine's X account really quick. They haven't actually posted on here since my last video. So I'm not really going to read through all this stuff, but in case you didn't see my last video, I'll show you this post right here, March 9th. So hello, nice to meet you. I am an official representative of Jasmine. We are thrilled to announce that Jankshin, the first deep end project incubated by Jasmine, is about to launch. We quarterly invite you to follow Jankshin's Twitter for the latest news about Jankshin and Jasmine. And as I was kind of saying in my last Jasmine video, I am personally someone who is extremely bullish on the deep end narrative. Now, I'm not saying that deep end is going to be able to challenge some something like AI, but I still think it could perform very well. So I definitely recommend keeping your eyes on it and perhaps going over and giving Jankshin a follow. But anyways, I kind of figured I'd share this post 16 hours ago. I thought it was kind of funny. So after three years of holding and accumulating Jasmine, I'm finally able to buy a coffee and watch the proud owner of this Lamborghini drive away. And honestly, if you look at the Jasmine all-time chart, it kind of is like that just because of the token dilution. But it's always nice to see a good sense of humor. But anyways, now we'll go ahead and take a look at some macro news that could affect Jasmine's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to Jasmine. So this is Watcher Guru's X account. So they just posted 17 hours ago, BlackRock launches digital asset fund and deposits 100 million USDC on the Ethereum network. Now, let me know down in the comments what you guys think this is for. 100 million on the Ethereum network is actually quite a lot. And then 23 hours ago, $663 million liquidated from the cryptocurrency market in the past 24 hours. And that's no joke at all. Bitcoin has been constantly falling and falling and falling, which honestly aligns with what I've been saying from a technical analysis standpoint for about two weeks now. And I'll go over the charts at the end of the video, but the reality is that Bitcoin has been extremely extremely overbought for a long time now. So a pullback was absolutely necessary. And then March 19th, MicroStrategy buys another 9,245 Bitcoin worth 623 million. Now at this point, it is probably a little bit lower than that. But regardless, MicroStrategy is known for buying the dip and it always seems to work out for them. And then the last thing I want to show you is this post right here, March 19th. So world's largest $1.43 trillion pension fund in Japan looks into adding Bitcoin to its portfolio. So any of you guys that are genuinely panicking about this Bitcoin dump, just look at all the macro news going on around Bitcoin. Bitcoin clearly is not going anywhere. In fact, they just got spot ETFs approved a couple months ago. But anyways, while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post on here pretty much every single day and we've actually been making some very profitable calls. Or in this case, I posted yesterday about Bitcoin breaking beneath the 21 day moving average. So I said there's a pretty good chance that we continue seeing blood in the market. And Bitcoin had fallen all the way down to about 60,900. And then I do also want to take a second to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, a general Discord slash trader tier, an exclusive tier, and then a VIP tier. But there are many benefits to joining my Discord. 
Discord. For example, this is going to give you guys closer access to me, and you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And just understand a lot of the cryptos that my community is buying are microcap gems, less than 10 million in market cap. We have been making some enormous gains. And just to show you a few of the gains we've been making, I've given my boy Chop a shout out in like my last four videos, but I'm going to give him another one. So while Bitcoin is dropping, he saw an opportunity on Apu, which is a meme coin. And usually we don't invest in meme coins. However, I agreed with the opportunity he was seeing. So I posted a buy alert and within four days, we were up over 700%. You put in $1,000, your $1,000 is over $8,000. Those are incredible gains. And again, this is while Bitcoin is dropping and while Jasmine, all these other altcoins are dropping. We have been continuing to make gains and gains and gains and we are making thousands of percent on AI projects. So in general, if this sounds like something you guys might be interested in, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage and it's also in the description of the video. I would love to have you guys in here. We are building an awesome community that is calling out opportunities all the time. But now for the final part of this video, we'll get into some technical analysis. So this is Jasmine on the daily time frame. Now, the first thing I'm seeing is exactly what I warned in my last video. The reality is that Jasmine has now broken beneath the 21 day moving average. It's very similar to Bitcoin in this regard. And as usual, I show Bitcoin in all of my videos and I'm going to show it after Jasmine, but just understand the charts are very similar. Now, the RSI and Stochastics have both started to reset, which is a good sign to see. And if you look at price action, we swing from a lower low to a higher low. The RSI is higher low to lower low. That is class A bullish divergence, which typically signals a local bottom has been reached. Although in this particular case, I want to be crystal clear, even if the bullish divergence does cause a little bit of a breakout, you have to be very cautious of a bearish retest of the 21 day moving average. There's a very good chance that even if we start pumping, we get rejected off of this level and then we could possibly fall all the way down to the 50 day moving average, which would not be good at all unless you time this perfectly. In addition, if you look at the previous two candles, you could argue that they are tweezer tops, which shows that this is a very strong resistance level. Now, very similar to what I'm going to say on Bitcoin. I will not be bullish on Jasmine in the short term until we get back above the 21 day moving average. Now, lastly, we'll take a look at Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And as I was saying on Jasmine, very similar price action has broken beneath the 21 day moving average. And it's like I tweeted out on my X account until we get back above this level, we will probably continue seeing blood in the market. But like Jasmine, there's also a very strong class A bullish divergence on Bitcoin. So there are definitely some indicators right now that could suggest that Bitcoin is about to get a bounce. But there are also indicators that suggest we are going to dump all the way down to probably around 59K. And then if 59K breaks, we could fall all the way down to about 52K. And I do also want to point out on the weekly time frame price action is still trading way away from all of these moving averages and if you look back in bitcoin's history we always retest these levels so there is definitely still a chance that we drop even further than this or at least continue trading sideways for the moving averages to start to catch up but also as i say in every single one of my videos macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis and the reality is that there is a lot of bullish macro news around bitcoin and a lot of these major institutions are just buying up the bitcoin dip so there's definitely a chance that we do not fall that far but in general, crypto is an extremely volatile asset class. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Jasmine will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.